Hello everyone, welcome to RCV Academy. Today I'm here to announce another very important tutorial series for freshers, new graduates, and anyone who wants to get into software testing field. So this will be the software testing training or the whole bootcamp, which will cover a vast majority of the software testing topics right from scratch till the advanced concepts. So this will be mostly focusing on the manual part of the testing or the manual testing, which will start from very basic step by step and then will advance to the actual real topics and uh, real scenarios where you can apply those concepts. Now, before I get into the details of all the topics that I'm going to cover in this particular training, let me first talk about why this particular training and why I'm doing it. So I have noticed from past, you know, like 15 plus years of my IT experience and mostly into software testing and test automation, um, there is a lot of gap when it comes to people preparing the courses or teaching the new person or the engineering graduates who are trying to get into software testing. They find it a little bit difficult to correlate the concepts that they learn uh, from the courses into the actual world. So there is a bit of gap there and that gap basically if you don't know how to apply those principles in the actual scenario it becomes a, lo a, a lot trickier when you go into the actual projects to basically do a proper testing or become a good tester. So that's the whole point here so basically what i want to do is i want to fill those gaps and then start the software testing from very basic and then not only just go through the concepts of software testing but also explain where those concepts will be applied in practical right so it's not something which you learn in the college i have been in it for more than 15 plus years um, and I have been doing test automation, uh, test designing, execution, test management all through my career. And now here I am to trying to help out the new graduates. And if with this particular course, I'm able to help out um, even a single one of you out there to basically grab a job into a good um, organization uh, into the software testing field or wherever you want to uh, get into the job for uh, this will be a great success for me. Now, a little bit of background about myself. So uh, I've already covered that I've been in IT for more than 15 years now. And mostly it is into the software testing, test automation and test management. Uh, I spent uh, like eight plus year of my time uh, and career uh, in India and then moved to Australia. So currently uh, from almost eight years, I'm in Australia and working with uh, you know, global clients and Australian clients into software testing uh, and the test automation and management space. So when, um, you know, I started my career as software testing, I didn't have these opportunities of having, you know, um, courses being available uh, in the market or uh, in uh, online courses available taught from the real experts that are into the industry. So now what I thought is, even though there are courses available out there uh, on Udemy, on uh, you know YouTube, but I, I still find there is a lot of gap that needs to be worked into uh, when it comes to preparing the courses and providing the real value to, to you all. So that's the whole point here to basically, uh, whatever I have learned till now um, through my experience, through reading books or articles or whatever I have learned uh, into the software testing and test automation I want to share with you so that you can also become you know um, successful and can achieve whatever um, you know things you want into the software testing field right so that's the whole purpose of this series now let's come back to the um, sections that I'm going to cover in this particular series so to start with I'll cover with very basic of software testing so that even if you don't know anything at all about software testing you will be totally be able to understand what exactly is software testing and how it is applicable into the softwares and into the IT right so we'll start with introduction then we'll say we'll see testing in software development life cycle 
when we saw software development life cycle so how the software development life cycle is and how it has evolved from waterfall approaches to v model to you know current um, agile strategies or agile approaches that are being used now so scrum is very widely used so i'll cover all those sdlc models and then how testing fits into those models right so not just understanding that this is the model and um, these are the phases right so basically you know the phases but then how testing fits into those phases is more important when you go into any interview or you go for any you know actual work you need to know how the testing is um, applied in those software development uh, approaches and models right then we'll cover uh, you know types of testing and software testing life cycle so uh, we'll cover all the types of testing, uh, the basics first, and then how you will apply a particular type of testing in a particular scenario, right? So it will be very hands-on and very practical uh, bootcamp. So I'm, I'm, I won't be um, leaving any stone unturned. Whatever is possible, I'll try to cover in this particular series. Then I'll cover software testing lifecycle. Uh, as per you know uh, different development life cycle how software testing life cycle fits into those development approaches then we'll cover test planning designing writing test cases executing test cases and then reporting bugs and summary reports test summary report so all of this is your day-to-day -day job so this will be if you are joining any test team this is your day-to-day -day job you, you plan your test cases you design the test cases as per different test design strategies and then you uh, write the test cases, you document those. So I'll um, explain how to design the test case, what strategies to apply, and then how to write those test cases into different tools or even in Excel file, how you can maintain your test cases, right? Then how you can execute the test cases, what, what different tools are available there and what uh, things you need to consider when you're trying to execute your test cases. Similarly, how you will be reporting the bugs. So defect reporting, tracking is important so all that will be covered and then finally preparing the summary report or test summary report which is uh, very important uh, when it comes to reporting to the stakeholders so i'll cover that in the traditional approach as well as in the agile how you prepare the test summary report now coming back to the right hand side here i'll cover agile testing so nowadays agile and scrum are the most widely used uh, development approaches uh, and most of the project when you go into for interviews you will find that you have to basically do agile testing so agile testing i'll cover and how testing fits into the the scrum uh, approach or methodology that will be covered as well then the late later uh, part of the tutorial series will focus mostly on the technical aspects of the software testing so for example you need to know sql so i'll cover sql for that i'll cover database testing how you'll approach database testing then i'll cover web testing mobile and app testing uh, similarly i'll cover api testing performance so api testing is very very important in current scenarios <coughs> sorry so api testing will be uh, covered performance automation testing so i won't be uh, going into detail of the automation tools as such but i'll be explaining you what exactly performance testing is, what automation testing is, and what tools can be utilized to perform the performance testing or the automation testing in the particular project. Then I'll also cover uh, Jira for testers and then some freelance testing websites. So if you are a fresher and you're looking for a job or you, you are still studying, you can go through this course and then you will be well prepared to basically pick up the freelance testing jobs that are available on the freelance testing websites. So that will be covered as well. And finally, interview prep. So interview prep is very important. So I'll cover all the aspects of interview preparation so that you are good enough to basically go ahead and prepare for the interview and crack the interview of software testing. So this is all about the course content of this software testing bootcamp. Now, this is not the final list. This is what I thought is important for you to basically get started into software testing and know what all is required to be a good software tester. Um, and I welcome you all to basically provide any missing information of you or you, if you want something 
specific that needs to be covered as part of this series, I'll definitely cover that. Please comment out in the comment section of this video and I'll include those questions and the scenarios or the specific topics that you want me to cover as part of this series. So this will be, uh, this is a base list, but I'll include your feedback into the tutorial as I go along. So that's all for this particular, you know, video and the introduction of the course that I'm going to cover in this particular uh, bootcamp. Uh, please do share this particular video as much as you can in your college with your you know, colleagues uh, who want to learn software testing so that it is helpful uh, with others as well. So you learn along with the other people and everyone uh, benefits from this particular series. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe because I'll be posting regular videos on this series so that if you keep watching these regular videos, you will be well prepared for any software testing job. That's all about this particular introductory video about the software testing bootcamp. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you very much for watching.